Hello everyone and welcome to Jubilee Road and uh, another layout update. Can't remember actually the last time I did one of these. So I know I thought yeah work's been going on uh, around the layout so I thought let's uh, let's get on and do another layout update. There's a fair bit around the layout to show so um yeah let's uh, get straight to it. Now this is the new Rager coaches I've uh, started collecting. We've got, uh, I think it's five, yeah, we've got five of these um, Maroon Mark 1s. They're going to be forming another, uh, probably eight or nine set there for excursion use. Just there. Nice coaches, actually. Done by Hornby, these ones. We've got the brake. We need a buffet car and stuff, but I haven't got there yet. There's the lovely Class 50. You'll see that running at the uh, little running session at the end. Come into this area. Yeah, it puts. I, you've probably seen this in running sessions anyway, but I'm showing you. There's people on the bridge there, um, around there, cars and stuff. This area has been done for quite some time, so now I've sort of deta started detailing this little uh, yard that is in the Heritage Depot. We've got some old sleepers here, some wheels, and I put a bit of static grass mixed in, as you can probably see it around there. Uh, yeah, we've got another sleeper there. We've got a coal pile. And I think I did put a bench here somewhere. If I can. Yeah, there's a little bench there, see? But I got obviously got to get uh, people on that bench, so that would be good. Um, Stobart Yard, nothing really happening. You can see the fence here. I have started laying the fence out where it's going to go. But I've got to get more of that, so uh, need to buy that. Bit more detail is some like some old sheet in here and bushes and really trying to get the details going here as well. Pretty happy with that. That looks quite nice. Carry on round here. We got some more bushes done. We got a little um, I suppose electric box you would call it line side box. You know that kind of stuff. And then the biggest change is as you can see I have done all the back of there. Including the retaining wall. Sorry about the shadow there. Um, what I did, um, paper underneath, plaster cloth on top, painted, and then the grass. You can probably see the brown uh, coming through. If I just zoom in, it might give you a better. So you can see the brown coming through the grass. That's nice. That's a nice effect. Um, obviously, we got a couple of trees up, um, some bushes, and more of these sort of miniature trees. It's these darker ones. I am going to. Um, planning on putting more trees around there but that's just sort of a start you can see it running down there looks much nicer now than it did uh, then we come on the station platform I've started putting people and benches along the this platform here there's none on the other side yet as you can see there I'm looking much better now it's got a bit of life to it hasn't it Obviously, it needs to be way busier than that. And then we have also got the end of that. You can just see. Just, um... I wish that bird would shut up. I hope you probably can hear it as well. Silly thing. So, yeah, it makes ties in the area much nicer. Uh, the station area... Well, the station concourse, I guess, you get outside. Uh, it's going quite well. We've got a guy waiting for the bus there probably going to be there a while I would imagine. Uh, this area has all been painted so if we just get the camera into position you can see there I've put the uh, zebra crossing in there it does say slow on the floor you can just see it behind that car. Got the um, station there with people around got the name now which is uh, nice Jubilee Road. Got a bike, uh, bike shelter sat there with that well, just one bike in it obviously not a very busy day we got the car park here with a couple of cars and there's people dotted around the um oh what you got a zebra crossing was actually a transfer i just put it down smoothed it out as quite you have to press quite down quite hard it's not painted and then you just peel it off and it well it looks really nice i think doesn't it Let's go in there, you can see it there. And people are obviously walking across the road too. So yeah, this area is looking good. Obviously i got to put a tunnel mouth there. It's not going to quite look that bad. Um, 
Now the tunnel entrance down here, finally I've actually done something with it. Um, I'm quite happy with this. This took about uh, 15 minutes to do. I bought it in, this is the size of the card, this piece here, and I cut it up in to the pieces I wanted. I'm quite, uh, yeah, I'm happy with that. It looks much better than it did with just the bare wood, didn't it? Um, also, I plaster clothed this all the way down. That's all being plaster clothed. The tunnel mouth is being glued in place. Uh, a bit tricky that because obviously it's on a curve and it's quite a tight uh, tunnel mouth there so I had to make sure the trains would get under it. Right, we've got a signal box here. Now you probably know that this, well, Jubilee Road is based on a modern image railway. Now you might be thinking, why have I got an old style signal box here? Uh, this one will be replaced, but with a similar sort of style and age signal box. But this will be a derelict signal box. You can buy them. I think Backman or Hornby did one. I've had a look on eBay and saw them. So I thought you'd still do see signal boxes like this on modern railways. Uh, derelict. So I thought add a bit more interest to the junction area. I thought to get a derelict signal box, all this would be like overgrown. I'd be putting a fence sort of round the front of the signal box and down there. Stop trespassers on the track. When, well, when Flying Scotsman comes, people just jump over the fence anyway. You probably know that from the news footage. But yeah, that's going to be what's going to be happening in that area. So we're getting, getting on with it. I've started plaster cloth in this. Obviously, you can see it's not done but it does add a bit of strength to it here obviously this is not going to look as bad as this this is just the rough sort of underneath parts we've got a signal over there non-working um ah we've got two engines uh sat here got a gwr prairie and then we've got commonwealth of australia which is a hornby uh, a4 with sound be nice one that um not much has been going on here the trees still there and all that I've started painting this. You might think it's a bit dark, but I'm quite happy with that colour. Now, as I said in previous layout updates, please, guys, don't buy expensive model paints. I know I'd rather, you know, support the model shops, but just buy your logos and the stuff from them. But your paint, no, don't, just don't. This, there we go. If the camera wants to focus in on it, no. This is Wil Wilkinson's tester pot. Um, let's see, we got Java Bean, it says on there. Does it want to focus? No, it says Java Bean at the bottom of the pot. And that's the colour it comes out as. And, well, one pot virtually did all of that behind the station. So why would you go and buy expensive model paint? They're like a pound, pound fifty, and it does, it does the job really well. Um, once the grass has covered it, it doesn't look, it looks fine. You can see the empty one there. So yeah, they really... Obviously I have got some from home base. You know, all the, all the B&Q and all the rest of it. They all sell them. Uh, just buy a couple of them, go home, use them. Much better. Now these ones don't come with paintbrushes. I think the other ones I did, uh, I bought did, but that don't matter. Paintbrushes are not expensive, are they? So if we carry on then, at the upper level we got the um, the campsite. New tree. They actually come from China. I bought 60 trees for, I think it was a tenner from China. Uh, yeah, they're not bad quality, I will admit. Uh, so I'll be sticking them around the layout. Bit of a bargain, 60 trees for a tenner. Gee, really nice. Uh, the village, still looking very lifeless. No cars, no people. Uh, kind of run out of people, actually. Need to buy some more. Um, just keep going around here. Same, nothing really happened there. I painted the roadway. This has been painted all the way now to the festival area. And, uh, well, Challenger, you certainly got lost there. That's a road. You are not. You are not a. You are not a car. You're a train. I think I'll be having words with that engine later. Anyway, got distracted by a Challenger. Now you can see these trees. They are here. 
you can see them, they, they come in loads of different sizes, like you've got small ones, you've got tiny ones, you've got large ones, if you go there you can see the larger ones there, they're really good, these are not glued in, one of them has died, that's probably why I should have glued them in, stay, right there, they just pressed into the plaster cloth itself, and 90% oh, of the time they stay up, uh, the, that one obviously didn't want to, um, but yeah, they they are nice quality. We just get them. There you go. I'm quite happy with them. You know, they're not they're not the best trees in the world. No, I will admit. But if you need a, doing a forest, for instance, um, I th I can't remember. They must have been ten, fifteen quid, something like that. I can't one hundred percent remember. Sixty trees. And then you got the smallest ones. See, there you go. They all come in the same bag. But yeah, really happy with those. Uh, we carry on then. See, I've painted all the way up to here. Obviously, there's going to be a tunnel mouth there where the road's going to disappear. Got to finish this bridge. It's not got any support or walls or nothing. But we've still got so, so much to do. Then we got the festival area. Festival area. Uh, we got a little... don't know if I showed you this. I don't think I did the last time I did an update on the layout um we got a little bar there which is done by knock it's a little laser cut uh building come ready made which is always nice now as i said i can't remember what i showed you last time but this pathway it's been graveled the wall has been stuck down and it leads off down into uh queen's park the crowd is slowly slowly getting bigger as you can see there these people are got to be glued here, but it takes so much time. You probably know if you've done a large crowd. It really does take some time. And you can see there, I, I honestly don't know if I showed you um, them, but I've managed to uh, glue them in. That was a right pain in the backside, gluing them in there. What I actually did, I think I did tell you this the last time, but I'm going to tell you again, just in case you didn't watch it. I got a pencil that I found lying around up here, put a bit of blue tack on the end of the pencil and then attached these small people to the blue tack, bit of glue on their legs and fed the pencil in, put the piece people down, uh, hold the pencil there for a while and then bring the pencil back and the person stays there. Seemed to work very well. So just going to turn the camera off so we can get into position to look at Queen's Park. Right, we're now in the area called Queen's Park. That's where we just were. All this is called Queen's Park, the festival area all the way down here. The bridge there. And to the embankment, which I've started work on in the corner. This is all Queen's Park. Uh, still lots more to do. But I'm happy with progress with the layout. It's coming along quite nicely. Got the war memorial there. Um, now, you might have saw pictures of this. But something you probably haven't seen very much of. And here it is. Guys, look, look at this. Now, this is an actual working uh, stage. You've got the flags there. All across the top, there's the British one. Whee! Um, yeah, I had to fit the flags on and the ones down here and the railings across the top. Bit of a fun job, that was. If you were on uh, Facebook, you would have noticed I was building this quite some time ago. This was... Oh, who's it done by? I think it's Knock again. I'm pretty sure it is. So, this is actually a working stage. Now, it is run by this Homey controller. Thank you, Light. And there is a tiny old uh, DVD player under that red box. That's keeping the top closed because it doesn't work very well. The wires are here and they run up and go in to the back of this. And it actually will play movies. Now, what are we watching? Herbie Fully Loaded. Ah, oh, the lovely little Volkswagen Beetle. Now, if I press the play button right now, I'm going to get in a bit of trouble because I'm technically I'm filming a, a copyrighted film. No, 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 that's not going to happen, guys. I am going to make my own DVD. 
um, so we can sometime in the future I can show you it working so sorry but I'm not going to uh, risk copyright there is speakers they're behind these two flat um, information boards there so yeah that's a really really nice um, thing for a model railway obviously I got another massive crowd now to glue down really do make it hard for myself now this is this is its new home this was over there but I've moved it started putting the bushes around it obviously it's not gonna look quite so just chuck there once I've finished with that we're gonna probably do a bit more static grass people and trees on it so yeah looking uh, looking quite nice now we come to the Clifton branch line well the word is nothing Nothing has really happened on the Clifton branch line all the way up the steep embankment to the top. Nothing's really happened. Um, we got a couple of locos I just put there. Now this is the thing I have been doing. I've started ballasting the Colas depot, as you can see there. I know most depots probably are concreted, like a TMD normally have concrete across here, but I'm happy with the ballast. It does. Uh, does the job looks much better now doesn't it we've got a class 66 I believe the 50 the 56 is in there somewhere well it was I can't see it in there yeah the 56 is in there uh, what else have we got we got Colas 37 and we got Rebecca there which I believe was in a recent video as far as I know uh, this is going to be the roadway you can see the wall here running along here um, there'll be a crossing just there and a small car park sort of in that area and then we come down this way and then there'll be a level crossing in this area going through another tunnel portal going across there so as you can see uh, yeah we're having some decent progress uh, around the layout you know, I wish I could do more guys I really do but money is definitely the thing and I keep buying locos that point proven right there because as you probably know a lot of these engines are quite limited edition these days uh, if you don't buy them they'll be hard to find and the price shoots through the roof for no reason whatsoever well you know these people on eBay think they can charge what the heck they like for locos and it's getting a little a little stupid you know I've seen a mark one the mark one network rail coach um, on eBay 94 pound what planet are you guys on selling a coach for 94 quid I know it might be rare and hard to get but guys it's not worth 94 pound I wouldn't even think of buying a coach for 94 pound that's that's just sheer stupidness from whoever is selling that so yeah, we got uh, details coming along. Um, I got a signal gantry in progress at the moment to go there, and hopefully they're gonna have working lights on it. Uh, I'm in talks with MIB models to uh, sort that out. Most of the signals on the layout are gonna be non-working because I'm rubbish at wiring. The extra cost and more time to do the layout, which I don't really have, guys. Um, you know. I'm 27 now so in the next well, I don't know in a couple of years maybe I'm obviously gonna move out from where this layout is what the future then for Jubilee Road will be after I do that yeah I don't know I hope I'll be able to keep the layout here and hope my parents actually don't move out but of this house after I I do be a massive shame won't it but we're going to keep working on the line like nothing is going to ever happen, but inevitably it probably will. Well, I don't think there's anything else to show you on the layout. So the thing is now, we're going to get a couple of trains uh, running around the line. Obviously we're going to have the Class 50 and the first appearance of uh, the Eurostar on YouTube will run today and a couple of other, other locos I might fancy running. Um, so yeah. Enjoy the running session, guys.
there we are guys that was the uh, short running session there it was really really good to see um, the Britannia class and the Duke of Gloucester running together that was uh, that was pretty special to watch even uh, even for me behind the camera you might have spotted a weird guy lurking about in my attic that's possibly me that might be me anyway yeah that's the end of today's layout update uh, we do have another fun video on the way when it all goes wrong at Jubilee Road. I've got plenty of clips now to put up, even one from the Garden Railway. Uh, so th look out for that, that's always fun to watch because things do go wrong qu quite often here at Jubilee Road. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already to keep up to date with videos. Uh, chuck a like on the video. Uh, you know, go to the Facebook page as well. It's all there. So that's it for now, guys, and bye for Jubilee Road.